We going? Mm-hmm. Hey, it's uh, Craig and Brad with Pro Light Gear. And uh, last time we were making some videos, we were testing down in the direct presence of water. Mm -hmm. And we said, well, let's try and get some of this hydrophobic down, you know, also known as waterproof down, and put it to a test. So uh, since that time, I went online and I purchased a Sierra Designs NAR jacket. And this is uh, <clears throat> made with their dry down. Uh, I read through the specifications. They said it's 800 power filled down. We're going to go ahead and cut this up and test it against uh, some untreated down. I've got a, a contraption here. Um, it's just some clear acrylic. And Shane, can you come back over and, yeah. and uh, show on this? I don't know, maybe tip it forward. What I've got is an acrylic box. And I, I just have some uh, screen over the top of it with some uh, clear cylinders on top of that. Uh, the, I was going to use uh, some technical fabric in there, Brad, but decided I wanted to take fabric out of the equation. Um, so, And then I've got a hole drilled in the back, and I'm running a commercial steamer through there. So we're going to be pumping water vapor heated through here. Um, one thing I didn't take into consideration when I came up with this test is the thermal expansion of the plastic. <laughs> so you might hear it cracking and popping a little bit. So uh, you're, you're getting rid of all the surface tension. <laughs> correct. So you're going straight for the for the downness to heat with humidity. Correct. Exactly. <clears throat> and then I've got another test I've come up with where we'll try and make it uh, even more real world where I'm going to simulate a heated body producing water vapor, you know, a very humid environment, and then we'll try and get the phase change happening as it, as that vapor hits the uh, cooler ambient air temperatures. Um, just some comments on this jacket real quick. Um, you know, we did do a water test on it to uh, test the DWR on the surface fabric yep. and on the liner fabric. It's got a healthy dose of DWR, on both, both on the surface and the liner. So when you see someone doing a... Uh, a submersion test or a jump in a lake test jump in a lake test and a shower <laughs> test <clears throat> probably not a, a valid test at all because that's the surface fabric and the liner fabric keeping the water from ever hitting the down um, one quick comment on the fit of this jacket this is a size large I mean it's definitely a box and cut you, and you wear a size large in most yeah I'm, I'm a little over six foot tall 180 pounds typically a size large, large. Um, yeah, this is cut for someone who wants to wear it from the parking lot to the all-you-can-eat buffet, I guess. <laughs> it's not a mountaineering cut. Um, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I, uh, I prefer, you know, many of the, of the European brands. They Montaigne. still do, uh, yeah, Montaigne, Mountain Equipment, Rab. They still do a mountaineering cut. Um, you know, this just, this just wouldn't cut it. And the overhead articulation in this is, is horrible. Um, full disclosure, we are Sierra Designs dealers. I bought this online from another store that was selling it at 50% off with free two-day shipping. So I actually could buy it cheaper from another store online than I could from uh, our dealer connection with Sierra Designs. So what we're going to do here, this is 800 power fill down, untreated. I'm just going to take some scissors and find a baffle here <laughs> and cut this open. <coughs> this part always makes me squeamish. <laughs> I think I'll just, you know what, I'm going to try and do it just like this. And we're not going to weigh out how much down to put in there. Boy, that's a, not a lot of down right there. Yeah, I think I'll zip that open. You know, looks like fairly good quality down. Once again, they're claiming this is 800 power fill. And yeah, I have no complaints with the, with the state of quality so far, do you? No, it's good. Ah, this is taking longer than I was hoping it would take to fill this. This stuff's sticky. Yeah, I've got a screwdriver here. I'm going to use that just to help kind of pop that down. I need to get more in there, don't I? Yeah. So 
think you need static guard. <coughs> Here we go. It was all, and it all kind of migrated to this side. I'm going to try and do it in one good clump. There. And the jacket that we took this out of, I mean, it was about the same size of baffle, so it should be, I mean, fairly even. Yeah. Well, what I'm what I'm hoping to demonstrate with this, Brad, is a clear visual advantage of the dry down product. I looked for uh, some down tech stuff. Um, God, it was last week I was looking for this. I think it was only in the Big Agnes sleeping bags I could find it. And uh, I want to do a less expensive test than that to start with, you know, depending on how this goes. Will you help me just grab some of that and pull it off there? Depending on how this goes, we may or may not uh, test that out. And I couldn't find anything that's used in the Torre Quicks Down stuff. I'm going to go ahead and turn the steamer on. I'm going to turn it on its lowest setting. Um, let me get my timer going. Well, actually, I'm going to start my timer once I can start seeing the steam. Um, Shane, it's going to take about four or five minutes for this to come up to temperature. Okay. So why don't we stop the video, and then we'll restart it once the steam starts appearing. Perfect. All right, see you in a few. Okay. We're back. It's been roughly uh, five minutes. Uh, the steamer is starting to uh, put some steam out. Um, you, can I see see it. It. you can see it moving a little bit. Oh, yeah. There. It's coming through the down now. Yeah, you can see it coming up through there. Uh, you can hear the plastic starting to crack a little bit. I put tape on this, just, and I also hit it with silicone. So if it is popping, Brad, it's just that I super glued these sides together and probably should have left them more flexible or built this out of something else, but um, it's working. Yeah, so um, once again, this is untreated, 800 power fill down on this side. This is 800 power fill dry down from a Sierra Designs uh, NAR jacket that we uh, cut open the baffle on. Um, we tried to get them roughly the same size in terms of how much down was in there. And what we're looking to see is just a visible difference in if this down starts to wet out or this down starts to wet out, we should see the volume in here dissipate. And yeah, she's, she's putting out the down pretty good now. That might actually agitate a little bit, too, with the down bouncing like that. Yeah, it's interesting. Well, I guess both sides are kind of bouncing as this thing. Uh, here, that'll keep it from popping like that. There was just a low part in the hose. <coughs> well, we're not seeing much Nothing. impact. I mean, we're talking 100% humidity here oh, under yeah. pressure. And forcing this through far hotter than your body could ever get the water do you have your little thermal yeah i do thing here why don't you go grab that shane let's um stop this we'll let it run for another five minutes and then check in and see if we're seeing any difference yet thanks okay we're back it has been four minutes since we had steam mm -hmm. going into really here steaming yeah i grabbed uh, one of our glass cylinders just so you can see the steam is really coming through this now. I don't know if it shows up on camera or not. Why don't you tell us what the temperature is? So we're simulating... This is, I mean, it's 180 degrees. 180 degrees. That's hotter than your body's going to be and putting out much more steam or humidity than your oh, body's going to put out. Down. Yeah. Are you seeing any marked performance advantage of one versus the other? You know, maybe a... L Boy, I mean, you can Shane. Can they see on the camera how much right. water vapor is so, coming I mean, out of there? Down levels right there. Down levels basically right there. They really haven't changed much. We're talking millimeters, but the smell of the like wet down being steamed is pretty terrible. Yeah, you can smell it. Can't oh you? yeah. <coughs> well, what should we do? Let it run another five minutes and uh, check back in again. Yeah, let's just kind of see how it goes. Temperatures are roughly the same. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there may be two degrees variance, but I think that's steam coming through. All right, we'll check in in another five minutes and see if we see any uh, big differences. Thanks. Okay, we are coming up on uh, 10 minutes 
Um, our observation is that uh, perhaps the untreated down has lost a little bit of loft compared to the dry down. Um, looking at them, they both appear to be wetting out. Uh, there's just nothing compressing that down to kind of push it together. Yeah. I so I think I'm going to take a, a screwdriver. I mean, it's gone 10 minutes now at close to 200 degrees. Yeah, I mean, right now we're at... That's 198, and that is 202. I'm impressed with how well I'm, imp I'm impressed with how the dry down is holding up, but I'm impressed with how the untreated down is holding up. We're talking probably less than a four percent difference between the two. Are you zoomed in so they can see yep. if I do this? I'm just yep. gonna take this screwdriver and see what happens. And yeah, you can see this is oh that's hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can see this is this is. Ouch. Yeah, that's that's failed, right? So I would have to assume this has failed as well. Yeah. So any sort of compression would cause both of these to collapse. So I don't know if the test is conclusive with anything other than I didn't see a remarkable advantage of the dry down over the untreated down. Uh, in a super high humid environment. Yeah. They both held loft with no pressure, but the second you put any sort of pressure... And actually, I did a test, Brad, over the weekend where I... Uh, you put that back in there. Where I took one of my RAB Neutrino Endurance Down jackets and a RAB uh, Photon smock that's made out of Prima Loft, and I fully submerged them in my bathtub. And, uh, you know, the RAB Neutrino Endurance down jacket was completely fine. It didn't lose any loft, but you know we're talking an endurance fabric on the outside. Yeah, but just a normal, is that just a uh, taffeta. taffeta liner on it? So that wasn't preventing water from hitting that down. Um, what I then did do was compress the down jacket, and that's when I lost some loft. So I think if we were to compress both of these, they would both fail. Oh, they fail. both fail. Absolutely. Fail. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you can see with a little agitation, they both are about even still. Yeah. And you kind of touched and played with them and kind of bounced it back and forth. They look very much the same. So I'm going to call it no significant advantage so far on this <coughs> test. Yep. Uh, we'll have to keep trying to come up with new things to uh, test this out and see if we can't find a, a, a really obvious, measurable advantage of, you know, a, a hydrophobic down, like dry down, to untreated yep. down. Uh, I'm sure it exists. We just haven't quite figured out the test yet. So stay tuned. We'll keep uh, coming up with more videos to show you. Thanks for watching.